Hello, YouTube. Hands are freezing in my basement. Get my windows situated here. Wait for a couple of my chatters, chatters to get... Oh my, my teeth are chattering. A uh, couple of my chatters to get in the box here. Make sure we're all systems go. And um, I'm just going to play around with making some collage fodder. Um, Robin McClendon, who I adore and follow. Um, most of you probably know Robin. But she did a segment a while back um, that she called Fragments, where she made you know, a big stash of little collage bits that were ready for her to go that she would keep in a box. Jackie! Oh my gosh, it's so good to see you in chat. How are you, my friend? Um, so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to start with some of this stuff. I slop some watercolor and inks and paint on here a couple weeks ago and see where that gets me. Probably no better off than I was the first time I tried it, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a go. I'm gonna try a couple different tissues. Gray, <laughs> I'm glad you saw the notice. I saw that on Facebook. <laughs> it's so frustrating. Like Xandra, hey Jan, I watch Z every week. I'm one of her moderators. I never get a notification until she's been on forever. Now I know what time she comes on, so I set my alarm on my phone for 4:27. So I can grab my laptop, hey, Glenda, and, you know, get positioned, get something to drink or whatever, and get comfortable uh, for her stream at 4.30. But it was 4.33 today, and I finally saw her live on her channel. Hey, Judy. It's so strange that I don't even see her pop up at 4.30. Not getting a notification, but looking for her at 4.30. She's not there on my computer. Hey, Z. I was just telling them, Xandra, about how I don't get notifications for your stream until you're well underway. Even when I go looking for you, you're not there. Today, I was there at 4.30, and you didn't show up. I kept refreshing and refreshing. You showed up about 4.33 on my computer. Very strange. So, what I was going to do is uh, play with some... Um, making a little bit of collage fodder. It's freezing down here. I don't know how long my hands are going to last. I have a heater on under the table with me here. Um, so you remember I did some of this stuff. Didn't turn out how I thought it would. I mean, it's pretty, but that's not what I thought it was going to do. And this one is just this, um, you know, the bronze, um, golden's iridescent bronze fine. They're acrylic. Remember, I put some in a spray bottle. Look how it's separated. All the pigments on the bottom and all that green paint separated from it, which is pretty flipping spectacular, if you ask me. Hey, Julie. Welcome from New Zealand. Hey, Peg. I'm trying to do this like Seth says to mix up his. Um, I need to get some little mixing balls, little BBs or something to put in there. And I need to get more of these because, you know, I was sitting here getting ready and I thought, I wonder if I put this in a spray bottle and would spray little puffs of that on the right kind of paper that would leave little silver spray all over everywhere. I'm thinking. That's kind of a no-brainer, Judy. Oh, I, that's what I need today, a no-brainer. I am... Um, have been limping around pretty bad today. My right knee is a goner. <laughs> Needs to be replaced. Surgery scheduled in um, August the 2nd. This is a little piece that I put on the floor. Uh, note to self, don't put these papers with any kind of acrylic ink or paint, no matter how thin, on the floor to dry because they stick to the floor. It glues it to the floor. That's why there's holes and this is all, instead of one sheet, it's all in little bitty pieces. This is the piece of that green packing paper that looks like that painter's paper on a roll that, that Robin McClendon recommended um, that she used in her collages. And I threw some on here. Now, it didn't do, again, what I thought it would do, although it looks pretty interesting. Kind of what happened up here. So, you know, it's all just an experiment. And these, I just crumpled it and then sprayed it with the bronze spray. But I thought, I what if I took a piece that wasn't crumpled 
and put like um, some black stencil marks or ink marks on there and then let it dry and then crumpled it and sprayed it. I might do that. So um, here is the Godforsaken piece that I did a couple weeks ago on wax paper that became permanently attached to the wax paper. So everybody was saying, use your heat gun, use your heat gun. So I'm going to use my heat gun. And I'm going to see, what the hell, I got stuff everywhere here. I try to pull out this drawer beside me to use it as a um, little shelf to put stuff on that I'm working on so I have a more surface area. And that drawer keeps me from pulling out the drawer with the heat gun on it. That's the opposite angle. So I'm going to try this. We're going to try it. I might try some of this rice paper, too, with the, the fodder deal. The fodder and the mutter. Um, okay. So, let's see. Hey, Sherry. Hello. I'm going to turn this over. And I'm going to put this. Well, I guess i got to have to plug it in. <laughs> oh, mercy. That's what we'll do. We'll plug it in to this thing called electricity. Now, let's see what we got. Some low. I'm going to turn it up to about medium. I can still hold. Oh, that feels good on my fingers that are frozen. <laughs> and let's just start up in this corner. I think they were saying to heat it from the back. This is the back side. This is the front side with the tissue on it. can't even get it started to peel off of there. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think we're going to call this a goner for its original intentions. However, nothing to keep the thing where I was trying to pick it up. There were a couple air pockets where I could pick up little bits of it, but it just, yeah, it's not coming off of there. So I guess I could, if I really, really wanted to, I love how the wrinkles are in here, all the texture. But the bronze kind of lost its sheen. It's not as shi it's shiny, but it's not as shiny as it usually is. And I used the spray, so maybe it's separated because you can seal the teal or not this bright teal. That's a that's a uh, what did I use? Was that a watercolor or an ink? I think that was an ink. Um, so I think the watered down version is uh, why it doesn't look as shiny because they were here. It's shiny like it should be. And that's the same spray. But here, see the difference in the two? I don't know if you can see that. This looks more uh, orangey. This looks more gold yellow. It's the same spray. It just oversprayed on the wax paper. Who the hell knows? Hey, Dot. Gail off. Oh, look who's here. <laughs> oh, animal food. This is going to be animal food. Hey, Tam. <laughs> We can maybe, I'll send this to you, Gail. You can feed it to your crows. So, I will not be defeated. I will, at the end of this stream, I brought a trash bag. And I'll put down the trash bag and then put a piece of tissue on it and try that all over again and see where we get. But for now, heat gun away. I'm telling you, you got a Rubik's Cube going here. And unplug the heat gun while it's in my head. I hate to torch the place. Okay. So, um, I wanted to grab a few of these smaller stencils of Robins. I love these tribal marks. good enough. For now, I can go back for the other ones when I want to. 
So I was going to, um, where's that piece of the green paper I said I was going to use? So this was, oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, this was part of the packing that came in a dick book package and it was kind of semi crumpled. Instead of worrying about trying to flatten this out, I'm going to try to be a wee bit smarter and just go get my roll of that paper and pull off a nice flat sheet, <laughs> which will be crumpled after that. Okay, so here we go. And I got this at Lowe's in the paint department. It's some kind of painter's, um, what do they call that when you, they block off an area? Actually, this is much thinner. Oh, wow, this is much thicker. I don't know if you can hear that or not. It looks the same. Not the same. This is much thicker. That's very thin. That's okay. We're going to go with the thin stuff anyway. Okay. And this has a little bit, uh, it's masking paper. That's what it is. Painter's masking paper. You can get it in a couple different lengths. They have it in like a, a craft paper color as well. Just looking at the chat here, see if I missed anybody. If I missed you, hi, welcome. Thanks for popping in. So let's um, let's do what I was first going to do. And we'll get some black paint. <laughs> and I'm just going to put some... little pile over here on my paper palette and I'm going to grab some of these and just start making some pouncing in some paint and these are to be used at a future date for um, little bits of collage fodder and I'm only going to do one of these because these I wanted most of these to be on tissue so it goes transparent and you can layer with it but I was just wanting to <coughs> mess with this paper a minute. I do. I like the, I'm not a big green person, but this is the color green that I like, like an army loading green. That's what I like. Oh, look, I got schmutz on there already. That's okay. Starting off strong. Oh, look, army green. You can't see me. Just blot off the wet paint. And... Let's do a couple more, and I don't care if this little marks are through them. That just adds more texture. At least that's what we say when we when I when I screw up. That's what I say. Oh look, I meant to do that. More texture. Oh, I wanted to copy some of new Robin's new printables are out uh, for February. They're really cool. They're um, different from the although she does have some um, I think some Asian papers at the end of it. But most of them are some of her flat lay pictures. And it's kind of going with her theme for her 52-week. Um, hey, Jackie, another Jackie. Welcome. Um, with her um, theme this year for her Saturday videos is Cabinet of Curiosities. And um, so it's kind of a, they're along that theme. It's got shells and feathers and fauna and flora and some insects and yeah. Pretty cool stuff in there. And I meant to print some of those and I didn't quite make it down here to do that today. So we'll play with those another day. All right. Just count a couple more of these on here. Just getting the majority of the paint off of there. <laughs> Jackie, 1965. I think that's a new name. If, if I am correct, welcome. Glad you could join us live. I 
cannot be responsible as to what may or may not happen here. <laughs> I'm not in charge. <laughs> Put some script down here because why not? Why wouldn't we? So I was talking to Sherry at Eye Stencils and Joan has, I don't think she's here. I was chatting with her earlier and um, she said she probably wouldn't be on as late as it is, which I totally understand. Um, but Joan's got a ton of new designs out and Sherry and I were talking about the next sale. And uh, right now she can't ship to New Zealand. And, uh, and I think Australia and maybe a couple other countries, uh, I'm not sure which. Um, so she wanted to try to wait out the clock and the post office to see if, you know, when they came back online that she could ship there. So they didn't miss out people there, her customers there. So they don't miss out on the sale. So, um, hey, messer. So there's one coming, but we don't know when just yet. Oh, you know what I might do on some of these? Ooh, I just had me an idea. Okay, let me... How long have I been doing this? Three minutes? Oh, oh mercy. Let me plug in my heat gun. I hate to wait. I have no patience for drying time. Zero patience. When I can blast it with a heavy duty heat gun and move on. Heat gun. This is almost dry because it's a fairly thin layer. But just in case, because I'm going to smush it up. Actually, I'm not going to smash it up right away. Caught myself. I was going to, but I decided I wanted to try. a couple of these. I'm going to do that drop shadow thing with the bronze on here. Della, hi! Welcome Ellen B. Welcome ladies. And or gentlemen, but I think you're ladies. I'm not sure. We have a couple guys that join us on occasion. Um, this is... So sad. I'm to the end of that bottle. But luckily, I have another one in the stash. So I'm going to take a little bit of this. I'm going to go back. I'm going to use, do a couple of these that have the thicker lines and do the little drop shadow thing. So I line this back up to what I previously uh, printed, right? And then I'm going to do like a diagonal drop down and over. And then... Oh, crap, it moved. Ah, don't do that. You got to keep it steady. I don't have a steady hand these days. There we go. That's pretty well lined up. Now, diagonal, right? A little bit there. Hold the stencil in place. And then go back and pounce with whatever. This is the Golden's uh, Fluid Acrylic Iridescent Bronze Fine. And then you get that kind of a 3D look. All right, you guys have probably seen me do that before. That's easy peasy because I'm in New Zealand for some reason. There appears to be a block on freighting anything here, even Australia or lesser extent. It's, ah, I figured it had to be something with the countries that don't want anything incoming rather than us with, you know, on the outgoing side. That sucks. Like, when is this flipping virus going to be over? me a break. Let's do another one while I got some more bronze paint here. All right. There it is. Drop it diagonally a little bit. Oops. Try to hold it in place, Patty. Try hard. Okay. Good enough. That's a good one. 
see that three. Oh, did you hear that little chirp? That is that smoke detector down here getting ready to go out. When I'm sitting upstairs in my home office, last week I kept telling Dave, I hear a real faint chirp. I believe the smoke detector in the basement's going off. Of course, every time he came down here, hey, Margaret, um, it didn't do it. I just heard it. I need witnesses. Pay attention. <laughs> okay. Let's dry those little bits. And now, just because I'm going to do that, texture, <laughs> and then I'm going to take my, uh, the same bronze paint, but I have it watered down in a spray bottle. And I'm just going to lightly spritz this paper to give it a little something else. Not going to concentrate so much on these bits, but, you know. Actually, let me right now tell Dave, before I forget, because I'll forget in two minutes. Okay. Okay. Okie dokie. It's crazy how this, it's just backed up the whole world <laughs> one way or another. Supply chain. Can't get cars. Can't get some phones. Can't get refrigerators and dishwashers and who the heck knows what else. So I'm going to spray this from up here. Just a light spray. I don't want it to be too overpowering. Just to give it a little shimmer. Stop. Put it down. All right. We'll see what that looks like when it dries. But it's it's on there. We'll sit this over on the drying side of the desk. Lordy, my hands are cold. Let's do some tissue. Now, I have... Um, I'm going to try this one first. I have this Blick tissue paper, uh, the Blick art tissue, and I happen to have some in black. So let's see what we can do with that, with the metallic stuff. Now this, of course, won't go translucent when we glue it down, but I do like a good pop of black and everything um so let's <coughs> excuse me oh this is a good one too they're all good ones i wanted the smaller bits though do i have that in a smaller size Oh, there's a smaller one of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would I would love to be the person that created a storage system for stencils where they didn't get tangled up. You could see them at a glance. And it worked for all different types of situations in your studio. Like, you know, some people use the wire with those little plastic J hooks and then hang them with the little clips so they can go through it like in a closet on a rack or in a closet looking at all of them. I can't do that because my desk is facing the open part of the basement and all around me on the behind me and well, like a U behind me on the two walls and the outside wall of the room are storage cabinets everywhere. And, um, yeah, so uh, won't work here. And the books, I'd shoot myself if I have to pull. If I had to pull a stencil out of a binder with like those scrapbook page size um, page protectors that you can slide them in. <laughs> oh, anybody that is remotely is acquainted with me would know that would never ever work. 
So I'm going to use, um, I showed you guys these last week. And these are a new brand of stencils. It's PM Artist Studio. I still want to play with these on a jelly plate. I don't know that I'll get to that tonight. Um, there's a few different ones here. I wonder what this would look like if we just, that one might be too big. If I just took like this, to the kids' edge, and pounced some of the bronze paint through there. It is black tissue, Gala. It's Dick Lick, Dick Art Tissue, I think it's called. Dick Lick Art Tissue. Oh, I almost said that so you'd write me down. Write me up for one. Oh, oh mercy. Now this I'm going to get kind of really dry because when you're pouncing paint like this through a stencil, if you've never done it before, you want to have it a pretty dry sponge because it'll run under the scent. It'll run under the stencil and will blur the pattern. Now, if you're looking for like a blurred pattern, that's what you do. You put it on there really wet. But if you want a more crisp shape to the stencil pattern, you just want it dry. You'll have to pounce it more, but it'll be a more crisp image. As I say that, please let it work, Lord. <laughs> just once. But I love this. Um, I'm trying to remember what the name of the stencil is. I might have to pull out the paperwork. But these um, these stencils are made on like a... Um, a Yupo kind of uh, my, it's not Mylar. I forget what the, the chemical name of it. Poly something, something. Um, it's non-porous. Um, feels like Yupo. It's plastic. Um, it's different than a lot of the Mylar stencils that you see. But um, these feel very strong. Like they will hold up with no issues. Oh, voila. There you go. So just for giggles, I'm going to take this over here, this paint, and turn it upside down and see if there's any left on there. Enough to get a light, like a kind of a ghost print. <laughs> Kayla, you need to work out more. <laughs> you can get Jim to help you hoist it up there. There you go. That's a little something on there. Um, so that one is called, well, here it is. Hello. I know I saw it on here. Geometric Polynesian. Oh, Jesus. I looked up there. Darn it. Do you purposely try to do that? <laughs> do you see me walk all the way across? No, I don't pay any attention. I'm focused, man. Focused. It sounds like it's coming from closer to the garage, hon. Huh? I assume that's where it is. Yeah, I know that's what you said. But yep, she's a chirping. <laughs> um, let's see. I want to put, you know what? I want to see what like black on black would look like. Let's do, what are you laughing at over there? Oh. <laughs> Let's do black on black. Subtle, but maybe kind of cool. Or maybe a waste of paint. We don't yet know. It's very subtle. You can see it. It just looks like it's wet, but that's okay. We might might use that as a drop shadow if it doesn't come out the way that I wanted it to. Okay. Right, Julia. See, she's got to just think ahead and you know maybe break it down by month. <laughs> Thanks, son. Um. Let's do one. I wonder if I, oh, I wonder if I sprayed it with this. If it would come out where, you know, we get that teal color when this gets water in it with this bronze. It's got that, um, I forget what pigment it is. 
uh, let's paint it over on this one. Fallow green blue shade is mixed with iron oxide coated mica plus patina green. Some of you brainy brainiacs out there, pigment brainiacs will know what the hell they're saying. Hey, Pam, welcome. All right, let's try this. This one's got kind of bigger holes in it. Let's try. I don't want to spray over that necessarily. Let's see if that waters down and breaks out that little turquoise color. Let's see, what else do I want to do here? I'm looking through the, I'm not digging deep in the stencil drawer. I don't have that much time or patience at this point. Let's do this one. I only, oh, you know what? No, yeah, let's do this one. Let's just do this mask here or stencil, but a bigger one um, with the spray and see what happens. Got it all over everywhere, but that's okay. How bad can bronze spray be in excess? sit this aside and let that dry, but I am not going to set it on the floor because I learned me lesson. Oh, you know what? I have this Unruh paper that I bought. Um, Carlin Holman. You guys might remember her. She um, has since passed away, but she is a brilliant watercolorist, and I loved what she did. And she did some collage with watercolor, and she used this Unru paper and she sold it on her she imported it she sold it on her website it's really fine i mean like some of gala's thongs <laughs> as an example <laughs> Don't be a quitter, Gala. I'm trying to put that back in its plastic bag. <laughs> oh, mercy. So this is wow. I don't know if I've used this yet because I didn't realize it was this thin. But we're going to do it. We're going to do it. I need to cut it up into some more manageable sections, though. That's for sure. <clears throat> wow. possibly go wrong with me trying to paint on this stuff. <laughs> oh. I mean, that's like air. And I'm sure once you collage this, that it's just going to, you're just going to see those fibers and the rest of this webbing sort of stuff that's in the background here is just going to disappear. Look, you can see the, the wrinkles and the paint on my hand very clearly. <laughs> Look at that. Unru. U-N-R-U-R-U-N-R-U-Y, I think it was. There's nothing on the packaging. And you can probably get something similar on, like, um, 
what's that site called? Mulberrypapers.com or places like that. Maybe even Blick. But I don't know what this. I'll try to look it up and see if her website's still there. And uh, see if she still sells that because it is loverly. All right, let me get those three out of the way. Wow. Let me put a piece of that underneath it because whatever's going to go down, it's going to make that backing wet. Okay, so what do I want to do? I might just spray one lightly with this stuff and see what happens. U N R U or R U Y. Hang on a minute. Let me see if I can. My fingers are about numb. I do this for you. Oh, on U N R Y U. A little misspelling there. They have sample packs. Um, mulberrypaper.com. They have a sample pack of Unruh. You can see that little packet there, different ones. Um, Dick Blick, Jerry's Artorama. But if it's this weight one, I don't, that I don't know. They got some with, oh, with gold thread in it. Oh, that's called Thai Unruh. That's a Dick Blick. Okay. Shouldn't have looked at that. <laughs> yeah, it is mulberry paper. Yes, mulberrypaper.com. Yes, yes, yes. Correct the mundo. Okay, I'm just going to spray this bronze. And you know what? Maybe I will. Wait a minute, let me look at something heavier to hold this. So I, I see. I see something not good happening. Let me put this under so that I can move it because I'm gonna wet this down. Uh, this is an empty pad of UPO paper. I just have the cardboard backing on it that I can use to move this somewhere else to let it dry. But I want that, I think that's the missing element. Why this bronze is staying bronze and not breaking down is because it's dry rather than having it wet and letting it separate. So I'm going to wet her down. Very light, Mr. Water, because as you saw, there's nothing to this. That's a real fine, fine mist. Or as Carlin Holman used to say, a fine mister is what she used to call her sprayer. She said, like my husband, a fine mister. <laughs> All right, let's just spray. Oh, yeah, the turquoise is coming out of there when it hits the water. All right, I'm just going to put this aside and see what happens. I don't know if that's going to make that bronze kind of go... Uh, matte and not shiny. If I'm using metallics, I want those babies to shine. Yes, I do. All right, let's do this. A couple pieces of deli. Let's take another one of these and see what it'll handle. Yeah, the, I mean, you can see, I can't even tell that that's touching my hand, except for in a couple, couple little points. Okay, well, <laughs> this is going to be tricky. <laughs> oh, hell, it went through the paint. Great. Okay. We're going to act like that was on purpose. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Let's do um, let's do a couple of these. It's hard to even see where the edges of this are. 
And I'm going to do them in bronze. So I got some good bronze paint out here. Oh, it does say translucent. You as, as only the mods can do that. Hey, Gala, why aren't you showing up blue as a mod? Oh, you just got a blue wrench now. Okay. Usually the mod's name came up in blue. Now you got your own little wrench. Seems like it's going right through the paper. It's got to be sticking to some of it. See, it is stuck to the deli underneath of it where it just went. Look, look at a double whammy. Maybe what I should do. Let's think, Patty, think. Let's grab a piece of white tissue. I have some cut right here from before. I think this is supposed to be that extra heavy, crunchy stuff. Yeah, not so much on the ever extra heavy bit. So... If it's going to give me a double imprint, it's probably going to stick to that. Let me let it imprint on something else that I can use. Like this lovely white tissue. I'm going to move that piece off because it's already taken up that space. Now, I'm going to just try to line it up because I want to use the paper below that too. So many things to think about. Okay. All right, let's see what happens. Sheesh. This is one of my favorite marks. That's one of Robin's. I'm sure Robin, I mean, um, Carlin Holman's uh, videos are still up. She had a few on YouTube. And it's Carlin, I think it's K A R L Y N, Holman, H O L M A N. And she had classes on, um, oh, what's the name of that site? It's one of the sites that have um, a lot of, they sold DVDs of classes. Um, not just like Skillshare where you watch the video online, you stream it and then it's done. You don't have a tangible piece where you could, but you can stream now on this site or you can order. I don't know if you still can order DVDs. What the heck was the name of that site? You guys probably remember what I'm talking about more than I will. Sheesh. Mother is freezing. <laughs> um, I need some more paint. Do you remember on YouTube, um, Peg, or on the site I'm trying to think of? Gosh darn, what's the name of Net Artist Network or something? Artist Network. Uh, I think um, that cloth, paper, scissors, I think they sold a lot of their stuff through this website for art videos and different craft videos back in the day. No, it's not teachable. It's not, it's before, it was out before any of those sites were not Skillshare, not teachable. It's like artist network or something. It's not Udemy. It's, uh, it's something else. What the heck's the name of that? I'm not sure if that's where Angela Fair had some classes at one time. And um, what's this other guy's name? Michael something. He did um, watercolor on UPO. He had some classes out there that were kind of cool. I took those. Um, hey, Liz. Nope, it's not Craftsy. Oh, no. I'm poo-pooed off of there. 
<laughs> Long story. But anyway, um, no, it's, hang on a minute. That's going to draw me crazy. Yeah, I think it's the artistnetwork.com. Pretty sure. Look up artist artistnetwork.com. Right, Della, I think that's it. I think you won the prize. Barney Fife. <laughs> Barney Fife of mods. That tells you something. She carries around her one bullet. Now, see that little splotch right there? I'm going to very strategically aim one of those little petals over top of that. And they think I'm crazy. Crazy like a flipping fox. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Now let's try a couple. I got a little bit of black paint. Let's try something black. This is the big crown. This is the like the tiara Gala wears around her house. drops. Three. Three's a couple. Not that I know of. Not unless you're into that, like Gail, if you know what I'm talking about. Oops. I'm trying to see where the... There we go. That was the right way. I don't think there is a right or wrong way with these, really. Remember that, Gala. I believe I had had the honor of awarding that to you. <laughs> um, Lordy, it's hard to think when my hands are numb. <laughs> I'm going to do some of this one here. I really like this tribal pattern here. Let's try to get this hunk in there. And this one, I'm just going to let splotchy. I'm not going to get it solid black. I'll just get whatever I get. It's gray in between, just so it looks a little different. Let's 
That looks kind of cool. <laughs> of course you would have, Kayla. <laughs> oh, she's a bad, bad girl. I'm going to double dip this one just because I can. That's a big, thick line, so that'll be easy to do that with. And I can drop down just a little bit, like so. So that's just a little bit of a shadow on there. I wonder how this paper tears. Oh, there we go. I love those drop shadows. Yeah, I think Gail could open an Etsy shop and sell those awards, Gala. <laughs> um, I'm going to see what this one looks like over here. So this almost stuck to the deli paper. It's coming off of there. See how much of that went through in the deli? There's a metallic sheen on there, but it's very, there's not much to shine because, you know, unless you hit it on a wad of these little fibers, you don't really see much of it. But it's still there pretty. Get rid of those. Let me try. Um, Let's see what will happen over here now. This is on two. Oh, no. Nope, it's going to tear right off of there. Gala, why did you let me do that? So, try to go here before this is completely adhered. See if I can salvage any of this. Okay. I think this is going to be too fragile. It's just, it's just tearing up. Darn it. Let's try with the heat gun trick. Darn, da, darn, darn, darn. Nope. She's permanent. Okay, let's see. Spray it with water. All right. On the front side, I guess we'd have to, right? Dried acrylic. Let's see if it holds up to that. No, it's still, it's just tearing holes in it. Hey, peekaboo. Son of a bitch, I'm telling you. Okay. What not to do. And look how cute they would have been. Especially this one. Nope. Okay. No, I'm not trying to salvage it. <laughs> That's what everybody tells me. Don't throw that away. Oh, Lord have mercy. I must throw it away. Oh, well. Okay. So. Maybe we can't. Oh, you know what we could do? We'll give it another go. Let's do this. Let's see how this works. Um, I gotta get my handy dandy mover. Let's put this here. And get a couple pieces of deli. We'll go back to the deli. <laughs> the deli might work because it did peel off of this. Because this is waxier, right? So I could use the deli, but let's do this. Where's the end of that? Gosh, you can't even see it. And let's 
let's throw some some goodies down here. anyone this is the one i had to cut the edge off to go back and that canvas i did for our bathroom upstairs <laughs> riri parchment yeah <laughs> yes i threw it away i did if you were here you would understand why let's try one of these so that fit on there Okay, now let's just try some spray. And you know what? Let's try some of Seth's. This is the licorice. This isn't metallic. This is just like a purpley black. Let's mix them up. Okay. This sprayer is making like a circle of, it's spraying all around and not in the hole. So I got to spray it off to the side to get it. Oh, there we go. Can't outsmart me. <laughs> you really can. Um, okay, now let's, let's do this. Let me grab a piece of this black bond paper. Just for gigs. Let's get these stencils off of here onto here. Look how fine a fine mister that is. That's just not getting it all off of there. Look how cute that is. Let's see, can we capture it? Not particularly. <laughs> if you don't let the paint dry to the papers, it should work right. I believe I'm tending to agree with you. Make a note of that in your journal. <laughs> this one might just be a neat background paper. It'll have shadows of these stencil designs. And in kind of that dendritic look where you pull that wet paint off on glass kind of deal. Oh, look, you can see the green breaking through on that one down the bottom. Let's put that over here and give this a very distinguished spot on this paper. I should be moving much faster. Ah, story of my life. <laughs> One more. That's all good pigment on there. I hate to throw that away. Okay. I wonder if I should leave it on there. I'm not. I'm, this should air dry in like two seconds. Let me find another drawer to pull out that I can lay this over. Talk about your very faint. That may be too fragile for this technique. But it's still a beauty, let me tell you. So I got one more here. So here's that wipe off paper. That might be the that might be the piece of the night. 
Let's do this. Let's do this. That's the paint bottle, not the artist. Um, this one baby's about had it. I don't even know if it's going to hold up for this little. So I'm thinking, what if I just take, where the hell is it? Gosh, it's so fine. Just make some brush strokes. has to be really wet to even catch all those fibers. See, most of it goes right through to the deli. Huh. Well, let's just keep going. I wonder if I could... If I could something reminiscent of a circle. like so and remember this is intended to just be little bits of this used in a collage it's unbelievable how this just sucks it up it isn't even really sucking it up it's just going through it not staying in the unroof. All right, well. We'll see. Put that over there. All right, moving on. <laughs> um, let's go to the... Um, the flick. The stuff. There's the one I just sprayed. I think we're going to put that in the color me done pile. <laughs> um, let me, let me, let me. What the heck is this? Oh, this is that Be Creative Wet Strength Tissue. Not so sure about that. And I have this sketch pad that's rice paper. And it's not it's not rice paper though. This is like waxed on the back and fairly rough on the front. That's oh, but look how sheer it is. Yeah, try a piece of that. And let me 
the hell is that doing in there? <laughs> oh, mercy. Move it down her drawer. Oh, let's try these. I haven't played with those in a long time. I have an older one and a new one. <laughs> I have a couple other ones too. We'll see how this works. And then we'll... Um, let's try this on the tissue. I need a brayer though. For what I had in mind... Well, and then I'm just going to use... I need to do something with this brush. I don't want to mess up my water with it. Oh, crap, my baby wipe. Trap doors open. Oh, shoot, they're all dry, I think. Okay, that's how you're going to play. Let's wet this, see if it, see if it reactivates my baby wipe. <laughs> okay, uh, mods, you might want to jump in there. Patty, was that the right red paste? No, it's fine, but it's not the same one. This one was real glittery. Actually, I'm glad you said that because when I was thinking, oh, God. Oh, sorry. As I moan, my knee is about done. Um, I want to put some of this on some tissue. And I'm glad you said that because I thought about that when I was upstairs and totally forgot about it. I show rice paper. Oh. Thanks, Gala. Um, I've never heard of that before. But there are many things that fit in that category that I've never heard of before. Let me get this. I don't need to move that, actually. I'm just going to use more of the bronze. Hello, where are you? There you go. And just... Okay. I'm pretty sure we can put that one in a color-me-done pile. Oh, thanks, A. Bronze. Oh, this one I can probably read the pigments on before it gets painted over. Oh, uh, iron oxide coated mica particles and PG7. A lid on this. Oh, I had to squeeze really hard to get through that. All right. Okay. Let's put this on my brayer. And then brayer it on the stamp and the paper, apparently. And see if we can get a good impression of this. Ooh, there you go. Oh, I wonder if I could do that on the unroll paper. I'll figure out something I can put on there. Oh, you know what? I think I've seen her, Della, use that. I think I remember that logo on a sketch pad um, that she had. I'll have to give it a go. Okay. 
I love these stamps. This is the Zodiac one of, um, Z used to have these in her shop. Um, Carabella, is that what they were? Texture, pl texture stamps, I think they called them. Let's throw one more there in the middle. Because why wouldn't we? Yeah, Carabella. I love their stamps. Okay. That's kind of cool. Let's put this over here. And I'm going to go back. I'm just going to take this piece here. Just for giggles. So the whole stamp's not going to fit on there. But let's just... Let's just see what it does, how it acts. Watch, it'll stick to my stamp and ruin my stamp. It'll take me three weeks to pick it off of there. <laughs> oh. It's on there. I'm going to try to get this other edge over here that didn't really print on that. It's on there, but it is fine. I'm anxious to see. I'm going to try to collage a piece of this in the near future. Let's try one of those other ones. One here. How did I put them? Here we go. This one's calendar one. I got two of the zodiac ones because God forbid I'm ever without one. Um. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Let's just try one of these. Oops, a little schmutz on my paper already. And. out of there and stay upside down. Alrighty. This is that sketch pad. I'm not sure this one will go translucent. I think um yeah, joggles, different places carry them in the States, but I think they're, are they a European brand? See? I think, I think um, Simon says Stamp has them, and um, joggles I know has them. Now that didn't, this paper's really rough, so that didn't give a really crisp imprint, but that's okay. That's okay. Because we don't always need or want a crisp imprint. We just want a little, a hint. Let's see if this will fit down here. And this, I think, is another one of the papers where unless this paint is really thick, it really loses its luster. It's still shiny, but not shiny like it normally is. But that's okay. Doesn't mean I don't like it. But let's do this. I don't know what kind this is. It was just, it was just here. There's a rough side of that and a smooth side of that. Who the heck knows what that is? Okay, let's just paint some marks on here with the bronze. Where's my brush?
this paints it paints a lot nicer on here just some wonky little dashes no need to be precise that's my rule because I can't do it. Nothing I do is precise. My hands are shaky. And I don't have the patience to make perfect little squares. To be honest, let's do another circle here. Oh yeah, look how much better that goes on there. Paper's not fighting me, but that is pretty paper though. So these are just to stash my my little collage fodder bins that are, by the way, already overflowing. But you know, sometimes you need just that little thing. That little something. Just kind of sketchy brush strokes. You never know when you need one. All right, just a bunch of stuff like that. Torn up later is just the ticket. Trust me. Okay. What time is it? What time is it? 7.47. Let me find my dry baby wipe to reconstitute again. <laughs> oh. I hate these packages. Don't even know why I'm closing them so carefully. <laughs> that ship has sailed. I'll wash that up later. Get most of that paint out of there so it doesn't get all hardened up. Let me get. Some of that paint off of there. That makes me want to get out my jelly plate, but it's a little too late. I'm going to be taking on something <coughs> that could get me roped in for a few hours. Um, I wanted to try. Oh, right in front of me. Good Lord. I'm telling you, Z, you got to keep on me. I had a little piece of that original tissue that you sent me, Z. It's in one of these boxes. Let's see, this one is, um, I think that was a lot more glittery than the other one. However, we're going to have a go. So let me find one of those stencils. I'm not sure if Jackie's still here. Um, I'm just going to use one of her stencils for this.
I love this one of Jackie's. Is Jackie, I don't know if she's still here or not. Um, yeah, these two. So I want to also look for, here we go, here we go. The ones that Xander got me in the Chinese font. Oh, I should do some Punchinella while I'm at it. One can never have too much, too many circles. I've always said that. Okay. Oh, look at that one. Oh, there's the one I wanted to. I'll try this one. I used so many pieces. Xandra, um, a while back, used a, a red metallic um, paste through a stencil with some um, Asian script on it. Um, and I used like every, all but a, the tiniest little scrap of that piece. Oh, hell, I put that right in the paint. Of course, the only part of the paint that was wet got on there. That's okay. Um, and we can't figure out which red paste. Well, how many of you sent me already? It Three, maybe? Two or three. I don't know why this jelly print is in the doesn't belong in there. You're in the wrong drawer. Put you in there. Okay. So now. All right. Let's get this out of the way. This out of the way. I need some tissue. Let's use the black stuff. Where the hell did I put it? Black, white. Okay. Here we go. Those out of the way. Let's try this one. Hey, Welcome. PM Artist Studio. Is that Mariah? Um, so PM, PM Artist Studio that's in chat, guys. They're the ones that made those stencils that I was playing with earlier. Right? With the um somewhere. Remember these stencils that we were playing with earlier? They are the ones who make those stencils, so you should check them out. It's a small business here in the States. Two lovely ladies. Um, I never know which way these go. <laughs> but I want this, these bits here. So let me get a knife. Actually, I'm going to use one of these that Xandra uses because she is the whiz. And this is one of those Prima um, rubber brushes for scraping in any kind of paste over a stencil. So add a little lid on here and then, you know. But I use this, those that sheet that Xandra made me, a couple sheets. She did a bronze sheet and a, a red sheet. And I always used them for like a little signature, like a chop at the bottom of my collages in red. Um, so let's try a little bit of this. Okay, here we go. These really are 
the best for scraping through, Xander. You're right about that. They have such a sharp edge on them. You get all the excess off very easily rather than a palette knife that's shaped odd with a curve or a bend or whatever and hard metal. This is so pliable. It gets everything right where it needs to go. And they have different sizes of these. I just took the small one because the jar's small. So it would fit in there. That looks like it got under there a little bit, but I did have a lot on the on the brush when I did that one. That could be a user error. Now I know you guys have never seen me screw up before, so it's probably shocking. <laughs> oh, if only that were close to being true. All right, let's see what we got. Now it either came out really good or I flubbed it. We're going to see. Yeah, those I flubbed a little bit. It was too much on there. But that is really pretty, though, Z. That's actually, that's beautiful. Maybe the glitter, really, the more glitter is the way to go. Let me get this off the stable stencil real quick. With my dry baby wipe. <laughs> Oops. A little water on this puppy. Now, I usually don't clean my stencils, but when I have this kind of stuff on it that's going to harden and then interfere with the design, I do. I really like these characters. I don't want to bent that one a little bit. Okay, let me put that off to the side. That's really pretty. I see where I flubbed those. That's too much. I had too much paste on there and it got under the stencil. But that is um, Nouveau Glimmer. Oh, where does it say the color? I'm going to go with red. <laughs> I'm going to take the glasses off to read the daggone label. Raspberry Rotolite. I'd have never thought of that. All right, let's do, I wanted to do just some punchinella and some bronze on tissue while I still had all this stuff out here, getting all painty. Get a little bit more down here. This is so curled up, it's going to be, it's going to fight me. I got to fight back. Even if I don't do the whole thing, I'll just get the bit down the middle. That's all I need. strip of dots there. Now I'll get a little bunch of... Actually, you know what? I might spray this one. Look how that's starting to separate again. That For those of you who joined later, that's this Golden's Iridescent Bronze Fine. 
uh, fluid acrylics mixed with water in a spray bottle. Because why, why, why wouldn't you do that? I need to get some more of these spray bottles, though, because I'm going to put that black silver ink in one. I'm going to do it. This is going to be hard to do because this is buckled up. So I'm going to do that. Try to spray this side. Oh, you can already see the turquoise uh, breaking out of that. I love that. I don't know if you can see it or not. The tissue is so transparent it might not show. It's there. Yeah, it doesn't really show on camera that well. But it, it is there. I'm going to do another piece with the red. Where did I put the... Um, oh, I wanted to do Jackie's stencils. Let me move this over here in the drying section. <laughs> um, I wonder what that would look like. You know what? I'm going to do it on black. I just have this black. Oh, I have black tissue too. Let me do it on this. This is black bond paper. And this is one of the stencils that Jackie Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to spray this one. I have more black paper, so I can spray one and scrape one and dab one. Don't clog up on me. Not now. Don't do it now. Hello, lover. Look at you. That's the spray. And I like how, I don't know if you can see the texture in it, how it has like a little pebbly look to it on that paper. Mama likey. Put you over there in a safe spot. Quite the mess, uh, which I don't particularly care about. Let's do another piece of black and let's scrape some of the red through there. That would be quite a pop of a uh, chop. I'm not going to do this whole thing in red. Kind of get this column done here and then i'm going to look in my cabinet i think i know where the other red is z that you sent me imagine that i actually know where something is well let's wait till i prove it before anybody gets too excited about seeing it all right hang on i think it's right behind me actually we shall see I see. Okay, here's the other one. Yeah, this one's very different. Actually, that may be the one. The one. Oh, that one's more like butter. 
Oh, that one's really thin and translucent. Oh, wow. Okay. That's really different. That texture is completely different. Check your collage book. Oh, you mean to look at one of the other ones? Oh, that comes out like silver with a red cat. Oh, look at that. Comes out silver. It's kind of like a, a shift to it. That's cool. You know what? This one's getting really hard. I got to go put this under the sink. Give me a couple minutes. Chat amongst yourselves. August 2nd is not going to come soon enough, I'm telling you. That's when my knee gets replaced. She's finally a goner. What does that say? Linda, hi. Did I don't know that I said hi to you, but it was an oversight if I didn't. Let's have, I'm going to do just a couple more things here, and then, wait a minute, what am I looking for? There we go. Um, Grab a couple of my art foamies. This one's not mine. I, it's mine because I purchased it. It's not my design. These are my pictographs. Okay. Now, let's see. Well, I got my brayer dirty. Let's do a couple of those. And then we're going to call her a night. Let this one sit up here and dry. And let's go with a piece of the liquid tissue. Oh yeah, and I want to do the sprayed the spray on the um, trash bag before we go too. All right, let's do this. Jamie, hello dear. Acme posts. Skip the peas. Go straight to blended margaritas. I tend to agree with you. Like a salted rim, if you don't mind. I think this is a Julie Faith Ann Balzer one, actually. Oh, 
Oh, that comes out nice on this paper. These art foamies really have a crisp uh, image. Very crisp. Always good to throw a little script in a background of a collage. That never hurt anybody. You should talk to um, uh, Mariah. You should talk to um, Kristen Powers. That's who. Actually, I can make an introduction for you if you'd like. Um, that's who owns Art Foamies now. And um, I did. I used to do all my rubber stamps with Kristen. And um, I, I don't know how many. If she's still looking for new artists or not. But um, I'd be happy to do that. It might, it might be a good idea to send me an email and remind me. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I just tapped it in here. Let's see what that does. Oh, yeah, I'd be happy to do that. No, I mean, like I said, I don't know if she's taken new artists. At one point, I think when she was first getting started with this, that she had, uh, you know, the learning curve of getting everything started and had to slow up. But since then, I know that she's gotten some other ones. Um, but can't hurt to ask. See, Gala, at least somebody thinks I rock. <laughs> now, these will be cool if this paper goes translucent. And when I use this paper, I think what I'm going to do is use um, that uh, Yamato. Is that what it's called? That rice paper glue. Need a bit more. <laughs> hey, Eminem. Thanks for joining. Gala. <laughs> Ixnay on your Ori's days. <laughs> Gala has witnessed some very interesting phenomena in my company. Hey, Cher. Oh, Lord have mercy. Let's see what else I've got up here. Yeah. Oh, that was the newer pictographs. Here's the old, old faithful pictographs. I'll fill up this other little bit over here with these. Oops, the red's coming through there. That'll just be a bonus. <laughs> I must have a little bit much up in this top little piece there. Let's 
Got a little schmutz there. Let's. That's not all going to fit, but that's okay. You know, Pam, I still love these little designs. I like any kind of tribal. You guys know that. Any kind of tribal marks or scripting or characters or symbols, all that good stuff. Get back in my art filmy drawer. All right. All right, kids, I'm going to get this out of my way to dry. And these will all be torn up for a little individual collage bits. Here's this one dry now, this really sheer unruh paper we did. I think that'll collage pretty, pretty cool. We shall see. All right, let me put this over here. And now, let me put some of this stuff in. Robin stencils. Here's the PM Studio one I was using. They're up here. Okay. And some Punchinella. Get that out of my way. Get everything out of harm's way because this might be messy. All right, I'm going to get most of that off of there. And get this out of the way. I might um this is still a little wet. I think I'll just pounce some of that on here. Because this might end up being a cool background paper. All right. Here we go again. We're going with the plastic trash bag this time. And I need a piece of tissue. Um, do I want to use that wet stuff that's supposed to be heavy duty? Let's, let's do. Let's do it. Of course, it's too big. I'm going to have to cut this in half. And this will have to stay here until it dries. Now, we'll see if it comes off of this trash bag. So I'm going to ball this up. Go into a little texture. Oh, look at Gala right on it. I know. It's only the best here, Mariah. Only the fancy A1 stuff around here. All right. So now, I've got some crinkle in it. I'm going to straighten it out a little bit. I'm going to spray it with water this time. Actually, I'm just about out of water. I love this sprayer. All right, that'll do. Okay. Um... What do I want to put down there? I'm going to put some of the bronze, some of the, maybe a little distress spray. The licorice, perhaps. And maybe drop a little bit of something in there. Oh, maybe this uh, liquid stuff. Maybe I'll get another color. I'm running low on that. I like this one. Running low. We'll go with the platinum. That's one of those Ken Oliver 
uh, liquid metals. Like, you know, it had those pigments, the color burst pigments. This is a liquid metallic one. Maybe I'll use a couple of these inks. I got some of these inks. They're um, Roarer and Clinger. Um, I actually ordered them off of Cult Pens. I might drop those in. Okay. I mean, the tissue's only so big, so I'm getting a little carried away. All right, let's just get a little bit of mist on here, all around the edges, so that everything runs. And now, you know what? Instead of spraying that, I'm going to pour it just here and there, little, little bits. Oops, that was a little bit more, but that's okay. I more where that came from. Let me let me move it in here a little bit. So you can I don't know if you can see it. The the the, the um, turquoise is already coming out. Let me bring in so you can really see that. Nobody believes me, but see what that looks like real close up. It's pretty. Okay, so now let's put a little, um, let's try some of this licorice. This is almost dry. That went right through that paper. I'm not try trying to spray the bronze again. I want to wet the paper so the next color runs. And this is the licorice. This is kind of like a purpley black. This is a Seth After Eyes Ink Spray. And this is a Distress Stain salvage patina oh look how this green's coming out of there i want to move some of that around with my finger oh that those two mixing look really cool let's make a mix over there come here you little rascal let's mix you up let's put some in there too a little water to make it move Let's put, this is already turquoise. Let's skip that. Let's go over here to this blue. And this paper, it's funny how this is drying up so quickly. This will probably be another one that will never move off the table. <laughs> Let's see what these will do. This is kind of like an indigo ish color. We need to break that up a little bit with something. Let's go in with this distressed spray. Actually, I kind of like that crunching texture. Um, what's this? This is a different purple. All right, let's let's put a little little of you in here somewhere. Do I want some white spaces or do I want to keep adding stuff? Don't be ridiculous. You already know the answer. <laughs> um, I'm going to put some of this platinum in here somewhere. Oh, it's white more than silver. This stuff's drying really quickly. Spread it around. Huh, 
All right. Let's go back with another little bit of this stuff. This is the licorice. All right. Well, here goes nothing. I think I want to, do I want to like wrinkle it more? There's some really big arches of where it's buckled up here, but not a bunch of the little ones that I wanted. Maybe I'll just pinch it here and there. I can hear people having a stroke. Gail probably fell off her chair. Okay. We're going to let that happen. Whatever happens, happens. And I think I'm going to add a little teeny weeny bit more water. And I might... I'm so tempted to spray some of the brands. I like what that's doing, so why would I do that? I don't know, Patty. Why would you do that? Okay, we're going to do it in the corner. I want to see if it's different for some reason with the spray. Remember how on the other tissue it didn't come out as shiny? But this was in the bottle. It was just the paint mixed with water that I poured. But even the spray there, it looks a little different to me. I want you guys to still keep dancing and being friends. I might put a little more of this turquoise in here. Oh, that looks pretty where it hits that platinum. That makes it a metallic turquoise. Oh, let's do that. There's some right there. A dark spot. We'll brighten you up. Okay, back away from the sprays. One more. Right in here. Oh, that looks pretty when it blends with this purpley color. Ooh, look at that color. Okay, now back away from the sprays. Don't be insane. All right, kids. <laughs> You're lying down. <laughs> oh, gosh. Poor things. <laughs> All right, now that has the potential to look pretty cool. So it was Froyle from Australia that I saw making her tissue like this. She's on YouTube and she has some uh, classes online too. Um, I don't know what different what different tissue she uses. She said it's packing tissue. So um, it's probably a lot heavier than this stuff. We shall see. All right, I'll take some stills when this dries. Let me get you in real close so you can see what some of the metallics look like on there. All right, I can't move it much to show you. A galaxy far, far away. Yes, it is. In my mind's eye, this will be fabulous. But in practicality, we'll see tomorrow. But that... That turquoise, the distress mixed with that um, platinum looks really pretty. All right, kids. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you hanging out with me. And uh, we shall see what happens here. I'll take some pictures after this stuff. Well, most of the stuff is dry, actually. But I'm trying to see if there's anything. This was interesting. This is that red. I wanted to see it after it dried that red gel but see it's like it's like shifts there it's red and there it looks silver and this other one is just bright red 
That's pretty interesting. All right, my dears. I'm going to go hobble back upstairs and relax. So thanks, guys. I appreciate you hanging with me, and I will catch you next time. Bye. Thanks, mods and mod extraordinaire. Not mentioning any names, of course. The one in the tiara.